Hello, my name is Mike. I'm with AIM X-Ray. And today's video is the first video in a series about collimators. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install a collimator ball. But before we get started, I just have a, a few key points that I wanna cover. First of all, make sure that you have the uh, proper bulb for your collimator. Sometimes you can find a bulb that looks very similar to the one that, that uh, fits in your collimator and will actually fit in there, but is not the proper voltage or, or wattage. So make sure you double check that, uh, or you could cause damage to the collimator. Secondly, when you're handling the bulb, make sure that you don't touch the bulb with your bare fingers. The oils from your hands will come off on the bulb and could cause damage to the bulb. And the third thing is that when you're installing the bulb, make sure that you push the bulb all the way in and that it's seated properly and it's not sitting at an angle. If the bulb is sitting at an angle, it can throw off the collimator light field. So with those points covered, let's get started. This is a LX125 collimator, uses 150 watt, 24 volt FCS bulb. To access the bulb, you remove the cover by removing the screws on each corner. With the cover removed, you'll find the bulb back behind this plate. To install the new bulb, you need to push those prongs into these small sockets here. Make sure you push the bulb all the way in and it's seated properly. Put the cover back on, put the four screws in, and test the light to make sure that it comes on. This is a linear MC150 collimator, uses a DZE 150 watt, 24 volt bulb. Here you can see the collimator with the back removed and you can see the bulb is accessible. Here's an example of a bulb that's been installed improperly by using bare fingers. You can see how the oils from the fingers have come off on the bulb and actually charred the end of the bulb. This will affect the brightness of the light. This is a V125 collimator, uses the FCS 150 watt 24 volt bulb. To press the buttons on the top and bottom to remove the cover. But be very careful, the cover can be extremely hot. Install the bulb by putting the two prongs into the holes in the socket. Make sure the bulb is pushed all the way in and sits level. How to install a bulb in your x-ray collimator. Obviously there are many different types of collimators and bulb types. Way too many to cover in one video. But if you have any questions about what type of bulb you should be using or how to do the installation, feel free to reach out to us. You can find all our contact information at aimxray.com. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.